On the edge of the Mediterranean, there exists an arid steppe. Here, fierce northern winds have been blowing for millennia under the same blue sky and scorching summer sun. Here, there are many stones, so many, but not that alone. Look, yes, right here. In the beginning, there is an egg. It will spend 10 months at the heart of the steppe, nestled amongst other eggs from its pod. About the size of a grain of rice, the egg will give birth to a miniature grasshopper, the nymph. It molts five times before becoming a fully fledged adult. The adult grasshopper lives for about one month, that is, if it's not swallowed first. It has six legs, like all insects, and its wings are aligned in extension to its body, as on other orthopterans. Look at these magnificent hind legs, long and tapered. Aren't they perfect for bounding across mountains or stridulating until nightfall? That's what most grasshoppers do, at least. But not the coal plain grasshopper. This one, it's an original. First off, our grasshopper only lives here, on this very steppe, and nowhere else on Earth. Though it may be one of the largest grasshoppers in Europe, it mostly remains elusive. This animal hardly ever stridulates. It can bear torrid temperatures without flinching, and its jump is, how to put it, rather clumsy. The fault lies in its atrophied wings, and its weight, which is beyond average. Are you thinking this makes it vulnerable? You'd be right but its incredible shell has been helping it fade into the foliage and escape predators for millennia. Well, maybe not every time. But what can you do, grasshopper, when it's your own land being nibbled away, bit by bit? Who thinks of you, so vulnerable and unassuming? Today, the fragmentation of your natural habitat threatens you towards extinction like so many other species of the steppe. So grasshopper, what can we do to save you? First and foremost, we can preserve your habitat and continue to observe you, to better understand you. Now look here and there. Everywhere, life is being threatened by the destruction of our natural landscapes. And our planet is far from limitless. You grasshopper, I human, Ours and all other species belong to this same earth, so if we can learn to protect you, it may protect us all.